Okay, so for my experiment, I'm going to demonstrate for you. I have two satellite chains that are identical in length. And what I'm going to do is to put one on one ankle and another one on the other ankle and show you what happens when your legs move um, and sometimes you will flex so that the muscle here, the Achilles tendon here, and also this muscle here, it flexes with each movement and the intensity of movement. So, and what happens with the chain? Okay. So I'm going to put, now these two, oops, these chains are identical in length and I've reamed the ends so that they would fit um, a 24 gauge jump ring. So I'm just going to drape this. So it's around here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other <laughs> foot. Okay, so we'll take a far view of that. So what I've done is I have put in two anklets of the same size. By the way, I just realized after putting them on that one leg, one foot is slightly bigger than the other. They're not identical. So anyway, I have done this to demonstrate and then also put one up here to show you what happens. Okay, so I want to show you that when you are standing still, it might drape under the ankle, but as soon as you flex, you see here, as soon as you flex, it rolls up. And when you do this, when you walk, it flexes this part. You'll feel it. It rolls up it a little bit. And then if you're running and you're flexing both sides, it goes up even further. And I can feel it. If you actually were to do this and flex, you'll feel it. So with an anklet here, unless you have it right in the spot, it does drape a little bit and then as you are walking, you'll see here, this flexes. So over time, it will stretch. So I think maybe find the spot that, that flexes less. So starting where the narrowest, you're still flexing a little bit, but not quite, at, or you put it all the way below the ankle. It doesn't flex as much, but still a little bit. So. I'm going to test in welding this one and also a short one like this and figure out over time whether or not it stretches. And I can see, see the dots here as it falls and I'm forcing it. You do see the little bead down here. So keep that in mind. And also there is swelling, but I'm going to weld these first and then see how I feel. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weld all of them. And these are 24 gauge. I'm gonna try to do it without shoving my face in the shot. I think I got that. It's kind of difficult. <sighs> okay, good. So that went very well. Okay, this is length. This one. Let's see if I can. 
this. Okay. This is a little bit more challenging than I had anticipated. Not as flexible as I used to be. Okay. Okay, I think that did it. Sometimes you can hear it. It's just snapping because you're in, and it's not quite a snap. It's like, because I get nervous. Um, I'm not looking it through the screen because I have to film. Okay, so that worked out. Here we go. Okay, let me see. Excellent. Okay, here we go. I've got two of them. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna measure the distance to see if over time, there's going to be a difference whether or not this up here will sag or not. And should it be the case that this is sagging, this is stretching because I'm flexing like this a lot, then I know um, when I cut it, I can measure the two in a while. Okay, so what I have done is I've welded these two. Um, these are identical lengths at just under 10 inches, nine and three quarters. And as you see, actually, even if you let go a bit, my I'm right-handed and my right foot seems to be thicker or heavy, thicker here. And this seems to be draping more. And as I'm walking also, I find that this is looser. I'm not feeling this restraint as I do here when I'm flexing. Um, and then here, I'm finding it a little bit more difficult already. And you can see the little beads in the pressure when I have it draped down like this. And I know that as I walk, um, I bi bicycle a lot. Um, I don't run as much, but I walk quite a bit we will see what happens. And in the summertime, I do swell a little bit more when it gets hot. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this on and um, for and I take videos of reports to see how, how it, everything goes. But as you see here, as if I'm standing straight, and then as I'm flexing, there is a difference in, and it's when this catch is right under, you see, that becomes difficult. And whereas in this leg, for some reason, it um, it's not, when I'm flexing, it's still underneath. This is just slightly looser than the other one. There we go. So I have slept um, this next day. I've slept and showered in my anklets. Um, actually, I wore sweat socks today because I was trying to run and try to figure out whether or not it made a difference. And I got to say that, and I wear a lot of these high top shoes, these cutie shoes, and I wanted to make sure that they were going to be comfortable um, on me. Sometimes high heels, they cut here, but this is not a problem at this height, just below the ankle. Uh, what was surprising is that this one of all of them, let me pull this up a little bit for you to see, this one, was the one that you can see 
as I'm walking, the little bead marks, the pressure marks for this was, I could feel it. This I felt even, even sleeping, I had no problems. Surprisingly, this, like I was saying, this foot here is bigger and I could feel a little bit more, but in movement, it is this one of all of them that um, I could feel. I thought by it being away from um, the tendons here, it wouldn't be a problem. I thought having it sit here. However, I get that with gravity, it goes down and then I am feeling it. And I, I realize that in fact, this one is not, is not a good position. So this is according to these shoes. Sometimes I have, I have lots of shoes where I have straps on. So I'm gonna try that, those and um, see if it makes a difference. So I've tried these on with my strapped shoes. I, I own a number of pairs of these um, with the straps up around the ankle, sometimes right above, um, sometimes below, but then there are ones that are high. So I'm happy to say that um, having, this is so far for me the most comfortable um, length that is right below the ankle and it doesn't interfere with the straps. Um, and you can see that actually, although these don't interfere with these straps, you can see that there are dots here as I'm flexing. I'm surprised uh, because I thought by having them over on top, it wouldn't, it would not um, stretch or be in the way as I'm walking, but it does and it makes sense because it does fall with gravity. But so far, um, I really like how this length is draping and I don't feel it at all. Um, these are uh, kitten heels, so they're, they're low. And I guess if they were hot, very high heels, then here I would be flexing a little bit more. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm a wholesaler of premium quality chains and findings for the permanent jewelry industry. I'm gonna leave a little bit more information below about our company, as well as the Orion micro welder that I've used in this video. I really appreciate your support and watching. Um, and I promise that when I earn enough money to pay for a proper foot model, I shall do that. So thanks very much for bearing with me.